for you just made me think of something for for a guy that gets uh, told I spend too much time on my phone. Sure, I don't do anything on my phone. It's weird. It's weird. Your phone habits are bizarre. Yeah, I, I mean, I like Katie does everything from her phone. Yes, I don't do anything from my phone, but I get told I'm on my phone all the time. Right. All I do is look at Twitter and Reddit. That'll do it. And text messages. That'll do it for you. Yeah. Well, like, you know, Luke's like, order seamless. I'm like, I don't have that on my phone. Yeah. Buy Amazon. I don't have that on my phone. And that requires a credit card I don't put on my phone. That's so dangerous. It's 2020, bro. It's too close. I'll just buy everything. Read a book about it. You wearing your nice shirt today? Uh, always. Did you wear a nice shirt yesterday? Always. So, yes. Um, what was his shirt yesterday, BBD? Do you remember? Ooh. What did Jake wear yesterday? It's a Is tough it the game. coal tank top? Coal tank, yeah. A nice shirt. Yeah, that is a nice shirt. From the John Boy Media shop. Just Go check that out. So. What's well, a nice shirt? It's my bad. You're good. How are you? Uh, you wearing your nice shirt? Yeah, this is my Tommy Bahama shirt. I, I, I've had it for like 10 years, and it's still the nicest. It's a good Turns shirt. out when you have to pay $100 for a T-shirt, they actually do hold up better. Yeah, there there might be something to that. There might be something to that. Like, my mom got me this shirt, and I was like, you paid what for this? Yeah, that's crazy. And I, I don't think I've ever had a shirt stay in my rotation for as long as this one has. Whoa, ever? I think I'm going on, like, five years. Yeah. That's a long time. I've got some shirts that go back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That was cool. Okay. I just did. Can, I have so much I want to talk to you about. I don't know where. where I don't know if. Uh, BBD, Tell me what you want to talk about. Okay. BBD put it in the news this section. This section is for banter. BBD put it in the news section, so I'll save it. Okay. Um, we're close to sports. That's exciting. We are close to sports. Did you have a good weekend? It's uh, every day. My my fuel bar, my video game health bar gets a little more to it. I like that. It. Gets a little more to it. We should do a picture of you standing next to the whiteboard, and we should draw a life-size, like, baseball mode graphic. Okay. And, like, just, like, color it in every day. Sure. Okay. I've got no qualms with that. Write that down. Write that down. Chase online code. Got it. Um, my weekend was okay. Our big event, our big we're going to leave the house for a little bit, is we took the ferry. Mm. Where to? Uh, the ferry we jumped on at around 90th Street, and okay. it took us down to, like, Wall Street, like 11th and Wall Street. So we just got out there, walked around a little bit, and then went back. Very much a corona day. Mm. In the grand scheme of days, not great, but in this corona lifestyle, pretty nice. Did you see anything? We were outside. I mean, we, like, saw the Statue of Liberty. Badass. Um, we got, like, a street margarita. It was terrible. It was really bad. Like, normally, okay, what are the end results of margarita? Good. I'm not a margarita fan, but, yes, good. Too much booze, too much tequila. Too much su- sugar. Or too much sugar. Yeah. These were just bad, and we couldn't peg what it was. I mean, did you buy it from, like, the they lady who wheels the floor around No, the it was, like, a real restaurant. It was, like, a nice restaurant. Mm. It was, like, 15 bucks. It's New York City, so that's not really a flex. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, that was nice to get outside. Uh, the storm's coming. It's more so, and Jess had been away, so we didn't really want to, like, mix it up with people. The ferry's pretty nice. Same price as riding the subway. So if it's going somewhere... That's that cool. you're like kind of going to It's kind of worthwhile on a nice day uh, So yeah That was pretty nice And yeah I'm just I'm in anticipation for sports mode um, I'm there I've got a, a nice event this, this upcoming weekend uh, It's my buddy Jack's birthday Our friend Jack What are you um, guys doing? So we're going to play golf Saturday So I'm okay. excited for that I like that You saw me training this weekend Yeah be careful Because it's coming back Where I think we're on full fledged uh, you're an asshole if you like have a party mode. Oh yeah, we're not. A, we're playing no, golf. I know. I, yeah, I know. Playing golf, yeah, which yeah, has been fine. allowed the whole time. Um, but I just more on that. Like it's, it's. I'm so upset. It's back to, like we're almost. We should be back to what we were doing in in April. Oh, New York is. 
Yeah. I mean, New York's fine. Uh, but the a lot of the rest of the country missed the message. I'm hoping hoping they'll figure it out. Um, we'll see. I mean, just don't screw up my sports. That's my only request. The South I had and t- Arizona. I had two big events this week. I guess weekend. Cali's doing bad, too. But, yeah. Do you want to hear my two big two events? Two big weekend events from John Boy. On Friday, we drove uh, an hour towards New Jersey, got a call that my yes. grandmother tested positive for COVID, and my dad had hung out with her, so turned right around. Yeah. And in that car ride, Mac threw up on me. Yeah. And it was pouring rain. He didn't mm. throw up on me. He threw up next to the seat and okay. tried to eat it, and then, like, yeah. really tried to eat it. Like, Been I had there. to fight him, and he was yeah. like, it's like, dude, grow up. Yeah. Stop eating your own puke all the time. Wow. So that was a really hectic two-hour car ride. Don't but make me, that was pick, fine. Don't make me um, pick sides in that argument. And then on Sunday, Caitlin and I went down to what's the neighborhood underneath uh, lower than the Lower East Side? Lower than the Lower East Side. The low, low. I don't know. We went down there and we picked up a dresser. If I die. You got a dresser. Yeah. That's pretty exciting. And then a dresser. Yeah, it was so hot. Dude, it's so hot and muggy. It's disgusting. Yes. So I I did good. Katie was happy with me because I asked her all the questions. I was like, it, her, she had a friend who's moving out of New York City and has furniture for us. Okay. Like, how much are we grabbing? Yeah. Because she just told her we're going to pick up a dresser. So I was like, I need, it's so hot out that I'm going to be grumpy. And I want to try and counteract that as best as I can. Yes. So I need to fully know what I'm getting into here. I was like, yes. How many things are we actually? Picking I did that up? with the fairy, bro. Jess yeah. was like mad at me for a little bit because she's like, I don't know, we'll just take the fairy, and I was like, it's like hot. Yeah. But I did well, so I was like, how many things are we picking up? She's like, well, she's got a lot of stuff, and I'm like, okay. And I had to nick some because we don't have enough room. Right. But I was like, okay, all right, dresser, chair, mirror. Okay, I got all that. I was like, and then we were driving there. I'm like, hey, are we like sitting and chatting or Ooh. are we picking up furniture and leaving? And she's like, no, I think we're like having bagels. I'm like, okay, great. I did not know that. Sure. So I'm glad I'm not being blindsided by that. And it was really fun and nice conversation. And like, I had a fine time, but it was good that I didn't just go and we're picking up a dresser because that in my head is like, bam, 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 drive down there, put a dresser in the right. car, leave. We're out. So I was, and then Katie said, you did really good. I know that it was really hot. Yeah, so it was good. Look at that. Yeah, I think it was Midtown East is the neighborhood. MTE, they say. Yeah. Lower East Side, also known as? The low, low. No, 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 we were in the East Village. East East Village. Village. East Village. East Village. Yeah, so that's good. Um, Other than that, nothing. Any La La update? I know there was some decent news yesterday. Yeah, I think I'll just... Yeah, there was... Yeah, it, yeah, it's all over the place. It's all over the place. It's gotcha. very scary. Um, my dad's taking like three tests already. Right, he's showing no symptoms. His That's good. His mother, maybe she's listening. Sometimes she listens. Wish you luck. Love you, Grams. Hey, love you. Um, valleys and peaks, and yeah. we're still in the middle of that ride. Gotcha. So we'll figure it out. Okay. Um, but yeah, T's all. and P's. Yes. Uh, tingles and Pringles. Come on. The Jake Storielli story. Come on. <laughs> it's kind of good. You just peeing and eating Pringles all the time? <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> oddly, oddly accurate. Uh, you good? Go to the sports? Let's go to the sports. Whoa, Black Betty, Bram Lam. Whoa, Black Betty, Bram Lam. Black Betty had a child, Bram Lam. Uh, Let's do the baseball first. Steve Cohen back in the the mix for the Mets. They're assembling like an all-star sports team. I don't know if you saw that. Half fun, half exciting. We'll see if anything actually happens with it. I guess the Mets are going to sell at some point, so I guess it kind of is exciting. Baseball world, we had a couple more dudes drop out. Buster Posey. Uh, and then a couple young good pitchers, Kopech from the White Sox, Jordan Hicks opting out for 2020, uh, both with kind of separate reasons, but all verified. Free Woj, hashtag Free Woj. Uh, 
pretty much a hilarious exchange, a little FU. He's currently suspended. He'll come back, people. Rashawn Holmes <laughs> has been suspended from the bubble for stepping outside for his food delivery. He now has to be isolated, I think, for seven more days. Uh, some really good tweets about that. Elena Del Don, opt-out request denied from the WNBA bubble. I think she has, what is it, diabetes or Lyme disease? Yeah, Lyme disease. Lyme disease. And I think she had some injury or something, too. And then the most important news, well, we've got Patriot League cancel their sports. Don't love that. Big Ten Conference going conference only for football. And, Jim, the icing on the top, the Knicks make another front office move. They hired someone from Capital One. Wow, the news. Wow, the news. Where do you want to start? It's tough. Oh, let's go to the, let's do the baseball first. Let's do the baseball first. What do you mean by Steve Cohen as an all-star team? So maybe I saw a faulty tweet, but I believe they went around and they have, I think they got a bunch of like 0.1% contributors or like one, not even 1%, but it was like an all-star group of players. It was like from every sport. It was like Travis Kelsey, Bradley Beal, um, let's see, Mets, ooh, player investors. That's going to be a tough Google search. That can't can't be great. Um, Bradley Beal among group of investors. Brian Urlacher, DeMarco Murray. So they're joining like the J-Lo. They're forming a, a quite literal dream team to try to buy the Mets. Uh, who? Okay, so that's great for the media. Like that's impressive for you and I to be Mason like, Mason wow. Plumley. Well, why? Okay, so the all right, all right. So the only reason you would do this is is for the name recognition, right? Yes. The only and if you have to impress, I'm very confused. All right. Okay. So when you when you when you want to get investments, right, and you want to build an investment group, you want sure. people value adds that help all different aspects. Sure. Bring in different things. All of these ex players bring in the same network, basically. So what they, are, they what they are different is sports. like they're like you know a movie will have a producer title for someone who had no business with the movie. They just want to use produced by Brad Pitt, and he right. didn't do shit. They just paid him to use his name. I get it if you have a company. And you're like, hey, this guy just invested in our company. And then you use that to go get more investors because you actually need a pool of money to get you there, right? Okay. Steve Cohen doesn't need a pool of money from these investors. And the only yeah. people he needs to impress are the Will Ponds. And why the fuck does the Will Ponds care? And Brian that's Erlacher. not necessarily true. They also have to impress Major League Baseball. MLB has to sign off on it. So every person okay. involved in that. Well, that's sad to think that like the MLB is going to sign off, like be more into it. I know it's like MLB. Do sad. you know who's running the MLB? I, I, is that a joke? No, but I, that's sad. it's still sad, right? But I mean, yes, and you're also just taking it a step too far. I mean, think about it. Think about it from the MLB perspective. Steve Cohen, the the vitamin water guy, is buying the Mets. Okay, cool. Steve Cohen, the vitamin water is. He's not the vitamin water. I thought he. W- That's Mike Rapino, who was with A Rod's group. I thought he was. Um, Steve Cohen's just an investment Wall Street dude. Right, right, right. Um, but Steve, okay, Steve Cohen, the investment guy, is coming in to buy the Mets, or Steve Cohen is coming in to buy the Mets, and he's got an all-star team of athletes behind him. Like it, that's all it is. It's like too, you don't need to. You don't need to go past the it. Will that's pon- literally all. The it is. Will Ponds don't need it, but I guess MLB will be like, "Oh, look, we have Brian Urlacher and all these guys that are interested in baseball." The Will Ponds don't care. And that's, yeah, I forgot that MLB has to approve that. Yeah, there's a ton of politicking involved in it, and that's all this is. That's dumb. And, yeah, I mean, it gets you slightly more excited as a Mets fan. Like, hey, I guess Brian Urlacher and Travis Kelsey might be showing up at more Mets games, but that's about it. How many Mets fans do you think are honestly excited about that? 0.1? If it helps get rid of Wilpon, they're excited. They don't care about Travis Kelsey showing up to Mets games. It's Again, it's you're just going a step too far with it. It's... Would if if you gave a fan a vote of having Travis Kelsey and Brian Urlacher associated with your team or not having them associated team, it's kind of like yeah, screw it. 
I'll take that. Yeah, I think it's more just like, I don't fucking care. Okay. But if it helps him win the bid, that's cool. Yeah, go get it. Go I was get expecting bigger names, too, I guess. Yeah, that's, you that's say like kind of the... all-star cast. Well, like. that's what I was wondering. I was wondering about this process, because you and I have seen the, the tip of the iceberg about in investments, but... When you're putting together a group like this, you wonder how it came together. Is you know, is there an agent that's connected through all these people, or <laughs> like, does it get even dirtier than that? Did they like throw it out to a bunch of players, and they were like, "Hey, who, whoever's willing to come in at point one percent at the lowest number, <laughs> you're in on the group." <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I I have no idea how that process works, but uh, and yeah, A Rod and J Lo are still in there, so yeah, it doesn't seem necessary to me. But if ML, if like that's really gonna change MLB's mind on if they allow him in, the Wilpons surely don't care. Wilpons do not care. The public f- may find it exciting, but that means dick in the f- in actually buying the team. So uh, they're banking on MLB being impressed that they have celebrities and athletes. Uh, no one loves celebrities and athletes like celebrities and athletes. So they all probably think it's a huge well, deal. and the people that run baseball who think their sports boring. I know that's how that's what I'm saying. It's sad that MLB is going to be like more impressed because these athletes, these retired athletes. Are yeah, in but I again, I I think uh, yes, you're right. Like end of the day, that statement is right, but it it just goes with anything. Like, would you it, it if you did X without any celebrities or more famous people title to it, or Y the same offer with celebrities and stuff? It just makes it. I'm just a not a cele- I'm not a celebrity guy. Sure. Like, that doesn't do anything for me. If you were to tell me, like, some big dudes. Right. What if I told you, hey, we could go to bar A tonight and it'll be fine, or we could go to bar B and Derek Jeter will be there. You're going to want to go to the Jeter one. Yeah, that's a very, that's not the same thing. It's kind of the same thing. And also, I, I don't even know if I, I mean, you know me, I don't probably be lines. And you wouldn't want to go to the bar either, but yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all things being equal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you got him. Why not, Derek Jeter? I'm a diehard Yankee fan, though. So, like, you know, sure. If you got if you got ex Mets, I get it. Mets legends. If Piazza was in it, if David Wright's in it, you know, Lighters in it, then I and think maybe that's, it plays. Maybe that's fucking, one of the last things they're looking for. Yeah. But uh, again, and dude, think think about who's involved here. A Rod. He's not part of this group. Yes, he is. He formed? He's in this group. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Well, he wasn't for a while. Yeah, I heard he wasn't, but then I just looked at the They were the two competing bids. So Cohen bought in A Rod to be part of his one group? Beal, 27, was listed with a large group of athletes and celebrities headlined by Alex Rodriguez, Jennifer Lopez, Brian Urlacher, Mason Plumley. So, yeah. They're all. So that's new because they were the two competing bids. So Cohen just was like, eh, I wanted you to just be part of my bid because you're not getting this. Hmm. That's weird. Sucks for the vitamin water guy. He's probably he was part of the. He might be in that too. He was in the. He I was with the A Rod bid. So if Cohen bought out that whole. So yeah, it's I don't like, know if he bought the whole bid or just bought it. So what? It's the last sentence of this article from NBC Sports is according to ESPN, the group is awaiting word from MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred. What will happen next? Yeah, that's weird. So I mean, it's again, these are some behind the scenes moving parts of baseball, but uh, are moving. Moving parts behind every sport that uh, you kind of forget the commissioner has that power. Like he can just say, "It no, makes a lot more sense." We're good. If if in my head, if A Rod was putting together this, oh my god, I think A Rod was putting together this group that had all, had all these celebrities and name recognition, but they didn't have the money, and then they just Cohen was like, "Well, let's join forces." And now Cohen has all these people that weren't initially part of him, and he doesn't really need, but now he doesn't have a competitor. It's a uh, it's a lot of optics. Just just give them the team, and the people of point zero one percent won't even do anything. A lot so, of optics. Yeah. Uh, Buster Posey, Copic Hicks out for the season. Uh, sucks for sucks for uh, fans of um, the Reds and the cards, the cards and the uh, White Sox. White Sox. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh well, yeah, whatever. Got to do what you got to do. Yeah, I mean, I'd I'd love to talk to our guy Jack Flaherty a little bit. He gave the you know supporting you, my guy. But there's also got to be that competitor side that's like, damn, that sucks. I mean, he's supposed to be their closer when he's back, and that uh, I mean, that changes the outlook of your season. But 
They support him. I know um, Kopech cited anxiety and mental health, which, hey, with everything going in, going on in the world, that's Does he have a baby coming, too? That's nuts. Um, not sure on the baby. And, and for both of them, they also missed last year with Tommy John. So right. it's like you're getting that major surgery. They built themselves up for this year, shut it down, yeah. building up again. And I think uh, Hicks – Hicks is a type 1 diabetic or something like that, and I think that makes him so. I don't know. They, they've got their reasons in Posey. Um, I know you were having a field day with that, or at least the beat reporter. Well, that guy that, was just that tried to That tried to make it a thing. <laughs> I'm not saying yeah. that this is bad, but fans are going to say it's bad. Oh, no, you're just using, you're using fans to voice your own opinion that you yeah. are scared to voice you asshole slash pussy getting <laughs> getting pre mad <laughs> whoa Jiambong. uh yeah he was getting, he was he was he was yeah he was basically trying to rile up the crowd and it's like nobody nobody said this yeah you're trying to make someone say this yeah huh? because you're scared to say it uh and then he and then he blamed it on maybe i just hang out with football fans too much yeah, all time you know that bad, feeling. All time bad optics by that guy. Uh, There's nothing worse. Than, ah, just been hanging out with too many football fans. Yeah, so I don't even get what it means. Um, but speaking of Posey and all these guys who opted out because they have you know mm. children, newborns, uh, uh, underlying conditions or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna Elena Del Don, right? I don't yes. know why I struggled like that. She op- it kind of is. There's a lot of vowels you look, that I never, sneak I, up like on I've you. Like I heard it, I've never looked at Elena Del Don, and it's like a lot of E's and D's all over the place. Yeah, uh, she wanted to opt out, but WNBA require or, or denied. Is that because they're doing a bubble? So they're doing a bubble, and I think it's like she can still opt out, but I think it's one of those things like she won't get paid. Exactly. Um, so a lot of people are making WNBA pay scale jokes around that. I will not, bigger man. Um. But yeah, that's a I in just a brutal look and you had to know you had to know if any condition, if someone has any condition and they want to opt out. And even if they don't have a condition and they want to opt out. Um if a league didn't allow it, they were going to get killed. And uh yeah, the WNBA was getting killed over that. She has Lyme's disease or she's prone to Lyme's disease? I think she has She's had it before. I don't fully. Know I don't how think Lyme's Lyme disease because Luke had Lyme's disease. Right? Isn't it weird that it's called a disease, but you can come and go? Diseases usually mean like you you're in the mud forever. I think there's like a degree of permanent damage that it does, and you continue to have certain conditions as a result of it. Depends how bad you get it. I guess I don't know. Yes, it's not. It's not on the. List of underlying conditions that could put someone at an increased risk for severe illness from COVID nineteen. So that's why she didn't get it allowed or whatever. Her doctor had recommended it to her though. So she has like chronic Lyme disease. Down. Also recovering from back surgery. So it's just money, like whatever. But that sucks. She is the reigning MVP. So yeah, that's kind of, it's kind of a that big thing. Yeah. In my head, so I don't know where that fits. <laughs> pretty crazy someone said chicken pox is a disease and that that's like the same thing because you get that and then but i guess you get it once and you, then i guess it's in you right yeah yeah because then the, yeah. that's what the uh whatever is luke got lyme's disease he got bit by a he had a tick, tick in connecticut and he was producer luke four years old and i would i would put him on the other side of the ping pong table and he'd kneel and we'd play ping pong against mm. each other and uh he couldn't kneel at one point so i had to put a pillow under his knee and I thought he was being a little bitch. Mm. And then I was like, what's wrong? And we rolled up his pants and looked at his knee. And me and we were like, holy God. It was like green and huge. Mm. Lyme disease is a motherfucker, man. So we cut his knee off. Fucks people up. Yeah. It's bad. Ticks suck, huh? Yeah, that's fair. Uh, Fourth grade teacher had Lyme disease. After I had him by a while, but I heard it like really fucked him up. Sorry. What was his name? Don't do it. Am I, should I not say? I don't think so. What was the last tick you've seen, BBD? Why are you laughing? You sent it to me. <laughs> I didn't send anything. Yeah, I sent it. It's a picture <laughs> of a tick on a dick. It's a tick dick. Uh, nestled it right yeah. into the head. Who, by the way, the tick 
the penis that that tick was on in that picture. It's his birthday today. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Nick Pro. <laughs> <laughs> Should we call him and say happy birthday? Yeah. Maybe halftime. Half it seems time. like a good halftime. Yeah, he thing. said he's um, really busy with work stuff today. That'll do it. But we'll call him at halftime. We'll see call him at halftime. We'll see. Uh, all right. Speaking of uh, bubble news, uh, Elena Del Don is trapped in the bubble. bubble uh, Rachel Holmes, how do you say this? Rashawn person? Holmes. Rashawn Holmes accidentally steps out of the bubble for food delivery and now has to be isolated. So this is actually really good because, <laughs> so we the bad meals that came out the first two days. Turns out they were doing bad meals the first two days, and then they were doing like nice stuff the rest of the way. So that's been going better for the bubble. But was that like pre-planned or did they see the reaction? I think that was pre-planned. Okay. Uh, they were like waiting for everyone to get there. Like those were the early arrivers, I guess. So someone tweeted out, I think it was Kelly Oubre Jr. from the Suns tweeted out like, he's like, yo guys, little, little secret. If you order like DoorDash, they'll bring it up to the place. They won't bring it in, but you can still snag it and get some good food. And then uh, the next tweet was like, Rashawn Holmes has been suspended for grabbing food. Rashawn Holmes issued a statement. And then there was another Kelly Oubre tweet that was like, my bad. <laughs> so, got got. I yeah, mean, it's good strategy. That's tough. Uh, but, yeah, it, it is one of those things that's so funny when you're doing something like this and it's dumb and it sucks. But, like, you write up all these rules and you make up bargaining agreements and stuff. And it's like, well, can't we just test him? Like, if Rashawn Holmes passed five tests, we can't let him play. But, no, they put actual days on it. So, I think it was ten days. I think he's down to seven now. I mean, you're doing a whole fucking bubble. You got kind of got to, like, stay with that. You I cannot get not have – why risk that at all? I think this does go into your John Boy spin zone of, like, if this was LeBron, I think we find a solution. Everything's shady. The fact it's Rashawn Holmes. MLB teams are doing their own tests that no one has, like. Yeah. No Rashawn one... Holmes is someone you let be the example. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they paid him for it. I'd take that deal. Yeah. The person maddest at him is his mom. I don't know mm. if you guys saw that. Well, she, that's yeah. just all, every day, all that's, day. Yeah. That's... She tweeted. She holds him to a higher standard than anyone else in the world. That's guaranteed. Well, she tweeted at him and said, you only crossed the line for your mama's cooking, and I was not in Florida, sir. Hashtag LOL, love you, baby. <laughs> it's a good tweet. That's a good tweet. <laughs> yeah, she's, uh, she's proud. That's a proud of him tweet. That's a 9 out of 10 tweet. Yeah. Uh, uh, who else? Didn't, yeah. didn't, um, didn't Harden test? or or? So Russell Westbrook has tested positive. He wasn't at the bubble yet, so people were kind of wondering what's up. Uh, he said he's tested positive, and he's waiting to go. Um, BBD, has there been any rumor mill about that? Harden like, too. Harden was announced, but no, none of the real reporters have said it. Yeah, I haven't oh, okay. seen the official report that like um, he's got this. But I they're like there yet. they're like the only two guys that aren't there. <laughs> they're Houston's like whole team, and I don't know. Like Harden's supposedly the biggest strip club guy in the world, so there's some wonder if he's just dragging his feet. Um, like, I'm not saying anything about Russ. Like, if he has it, like, dude, get better and all that. But, like, has anyone seen the test? Like, I don't know. Why wow, you can't do that. No, I'm just saying. Because, like, if, if this I mean, was... If this, he is, this is you saying... If he didn't want to go to the bubble, don't you think it, this would be something a player could do? Yeah. Like, I'm not saying... It, I'm, I'm not saying it about saying him. you don't I'm think saying any player it. could do it. Yeah. If you didn't want to go to the bubble, like, say you wanted an extra week... I mean, it's a card you could play. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, I'm, who, he's, I don't know who's doing the testing. Like, you know, someone, like the, his, I'm guessing uh, the team is at least part of the testing. Like, the team would have to be in on it. I don't know if he has been yet. Like, he didn't report to the bubble or anything. Yeah, he and Russ were, like, always the last to arrive. But now Russ confirmed he has it. So, it's like hard, not a big leap yeah. to make. And it's just funny, the visual of that Rockets team. They're, like, doing practices now, but they don't have either of the two players that matter. Right. So it's just funny. Keith's got me in the chat. Harden was seen racing Lambos with a little baby two weeks ago. So that's just a good time, though. Yeah. It's weird Weird times. Weird times. Get it. Um, 
Like everyone's like, no one is living. I feel like there's all this pushback about people who are testing positive for like not living correctly. And it's like either you're fucking bubble boy or you can or someone can find something you did wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, look at us. We're coming to the office and recording. If one of us gets it, everyone on the Internet is going to shit on us. But like, what? Are, what's the other? It's either literally yeah. self-isolate and don't do anything or you're you are available for pushback, which everyone is eager to give. So I'm kind of sick of the the shaming of COVID getters because everyone is doing it. No one like unless you're literally just living in your apartment and never leaving, you're susceptible to COVID shame. And people are eager to shame these guys. So mm-hmm. I'm kind of over that. You think whole, about it like the whole thing with the virus is that you can like do airborne. pretty much everything right and still get it. Yeah. It's like yeah. why it's bad. Yeah. No, I'm not saying go so, party without masks on and right. be like oh, reckless. Yeah, yeah. Like, do all the proper precautions, but even then, you can still get it. So, like, everyone coming out and shaming people is kind of annoying me. It's like, ugh. I won't shame anyone. I'm not saying you did. That was just an isolated thought uh, built off of that. Um, what's next? Do we have any more sports? Uh, I mean, the Woj thing was pretty pretty wild. I mean, I think it was pretty standard operating procedure. Yeah, what did he? what did his exact response say? Fuck you. And, he, and you get yeah. suspended for that. So yeah. I think everything, everyone's work, fine. You technically work for Disney. That's that's what I was trying to explain to people, and we talked about it a little bit on Talking Sports, but it's, you know, this is, end of the day, it's win-win. Like, the Woj fuck you email was not planned. Woj went for it, and that's fine. Good for you, Woj. Go get it. But, yeah, then everyone followed what they had to do after that. ESPN slash Disney, they have to suspend him for a little bit. Woj, it's a win for him. I mean, Woj lets out a fuck you. All the players have his back even more. LeBron James tweets free Woj. Like, you know, uh, when Woj gets reinstated, which will be very soon because there's an NBA bubble going on. I don't know what that is. I was reading the Woj link. I like that a lot. Yeah, it was cool. That was kind of groovy. So, yeah. yeah, End of the day, win, win, win. Win, win, win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ESPN has to suspend him. You, I mean, yeah. you can't have employees. Can't mail that. Email can't that have employees email. emailing yeah. fuck you to government officials. Yeah. Like, it's a given. Yeah. But I, I, I don't know. That senator was being a jerk off. But Rules are rules. Yeah. Like, rules are rules. Um, yeah. And then the Big Ten Conference is going conference only. Conference only. What I, conference do you think would be one? Like, would the SEC love this? For conference only? Yeah. yeah. I think everyone's going to go conference only, and I think there is a money aspect tied to it because a lot of those teams, like, if Bama goes and plays someone who's terrible, they pay that school, like, a million dollars. Yeah. So they're going to wipe all those off the map. Um, But gonna, as far as fans and, like, gameplay, like, I feel like... If it's only conference play, like, the yeah. actual... I feel like SEC fans are going to eat this up, whereas the Big Ten fans might be, like... Itching to play SEC schools and other schools. It's, I mean, SEC is going to eat up any college football, uh, especially SEC college football. I think the funny thing does that say, say this does go off without a hitch, and I think Norm Shaver in the chat's hint towards this because he always is, but I think the problem with that becomes the SEC, SEC is going to beat each other up, and, you know, there's going to be a two-loss SEC team that's better than the undefeated Pac-12 team. And normally you have bodies of work outside of that that you can compare and say, like, hey, Oregon lost to LSU. uh, For rankings, and it messes up rankings. I was just thinking from, like, a fan perspective. I think they just want their sport. Like, if you're an Ole Miss fan, I think you're having so much more fun when you play SEC every game. Uh, I don't think so, because you could potentially finish 2-7 and instead of 6-7, and where you win your non-conference games. Yeah. You're a lot more susceptible to have a bad year. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. But every game matters more. Like it's more like tailgate more, rivalry more. I feel like you know when you play a game in conference, it's more of a party. A little bit. I think there's probably the big dogs will feel a little more pressure because it's kind of the you know the, those other games are kind of warm up games essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know if you're if you're Bam or LSU. And Ole Miss comes in with Lane Kiffin this year. You're this su- dude. This sucks for like the um, uh, the uh, fuck. I'm blanking out. The whack. The whack. What's Boise? Jimmy Whack. What's Boise? I think they're still the whack. I don't know. That conference has changed names a few times. But they always have an undefeated team that everyone's like they deserve to be ranked higher. Right. 
And if if this is like that, then like they're never going to get ranked. Like they don't play they're, anyone. They're now in the Mountain West. Mountain West. Um, okay. But I'm thinking so. conferences like that. Nice like it's going to be. Reference. It's going to be tough for like them. That. Yeah. Um, and again, who knows what bowl season looks like? But yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess what you're a mid-major football team like that, they rarely have a chance. They have an outside chance. They're not going to have one this year at all. Yeah. Um. Oh shit. The the fun team everyone's talking about is Notre Dame because technically they don't have a football conference, but. Everyone's think, thinking that the ACC would adopt them for a year, but imagine if everyone just shut them out. <laughs> I'd love that. <laughs> It'd be hilarious. I'd be. Gr- I'd be gr- Sorry, gr- Notre Dame. I kind of even like Notre Dame. I, I like all the frills and whistles around it. But if they just got boxed out for a year, <laughs> yeah, you never join us. So like, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, we're over you. That'd be hilarious. I'm in on that. Okay. All right. It is the halftime. And now we're going to call Nick, Nick Proach. Proach. Happy birthday, Nick Proach. Who might be working. He put out a very good episode of Talking Folk today. Talking Folk. Um, that I was into. FaceTime audio. Do you have the Bluetooth up? Come on. Come on. One time. Unavailable. Well, wow. yes, we don't get to say happy birthday to Brutal. him. Brutal. Happy birthday, Nick. Jeez. BBD, you got an ice cream flavor for us? Cookies and cream. Mm. Oh, okay. Interested. Mm. Yeah. It's a good uh, it's a pretty universally liked flavor. This was there's a lot going there's a lot in there, the cookies. Yeah. The and cream. there's a lot going into this half of the show I was very excited about. Okay. It, fulf- it fulfilled itself. Is cookies and cream, like, I feel like it's nobody's favorite ice cream, but you also can't dislike it? It's also just Oreos, you know. Smashed up. Smashed up, but they yeah. can't say Oreos. It's my brother's favorite. Like, does anyone, really, yeah, his favorite? favorite? You know, it's my... Uh, said probably when I asked him okay. a my, uh, my high school girlfriend, who you know, it was her favorite sure. in Connecticut, but she would just eat the cookies. Like right. she would like, but like, no, not like usually you, you scoop your own bowl and sure. then you pick out the cookies and yeah, they're either yeah. the beginning or the end. She would open up the container and just scoop out the cookies. Yeah. And it's like, now you just got, ice, you know, you're really ruining right. this for everyone else. You just gone back to vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Which is fine. Yeah. My mom um, doesn't like it, but she doesn't like, she's a very firm. I don't like anything in my ice cream. Anything stand I, there. I, Which is fine. I, I would never, I, I would never get it for myself, but if you hand it to me. I'm eating it. Yeah. It's almost if you were like, and enjoying. If, if you were throwing a picnic for a large amount of people and you had to get a couple ice creams, like if you're getting three ice creams, I think cookies and cream is in there because it's like as safe as you can get while still being a flavor. No, I for a whole lot of people. If you're getting three like big ice creams, like obviously vanilla chocolate are one and two. But if you're getting a third big yeah, flavor. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm glad you said that because you, if you're getting like a big picnic, you go just vanilla. No one's going to complain about regular ice cream. So right, right, right. That's what I'm possible. saying. Yeah. Okay. I'd go mint as my third. Ooh. Like mint chocolate chip. Interesting. Which I know BBD doesn't like, but I love it. I mean, if we're going choco and vanilla, then I'm probably going cookie dough. Yeah. Or strawberry. No. No one likes strawberry. Strawberry. I think it's a, I don't know. I like strawberry. I never pick it. Strawberry stuff. But that's where I'm at with... I'm at strawberry where you're at with cookies and cream. Done. Yeah, I'd never... Like, can I get a cone of strawberry ice cream? No. You're like 85 plus, right? You get worried. Yeah, that's... Yeah, you're 10 or under or 80 or over. Okay. (laughs) Just got a text from Proach. Okay. (laughs) He said, sorry, I can't talk right now. Then he said... Ah, shit. Were you on JJR? I'm free again. Okay. <laughs> so that's a quick, quick reversal there. Must have left a meeting. Nick's hired someone from Capital One. God damn it. Shut up. Hello. Happy birthday. Hey, thanks. Who's who's calling in? You're on You're on the radio. Oh, this is, uh, this is the mailman. What's up? Thanks. Did you I'm just... 21 say, again. Did you just say thanks? Thanks for the happy yeah. birthday. Did you skip a, a meeting to come on this? Yeah. 
It's half. It's the halftime show. So we need your thoughts on cookies and cream ice cream. Uh, uh, big fan, unless there's dairy in it, and then it ends poorly for me. So yeah, uh, coconut coconut ice cream. Big fan these days. Yeah, so coconut. we'll tell everyone a little story, Nick, uh, about you. Uh, Nick used to. Oh, perfect. Nick used to eat ice cream at the dining hall in mm. college, but he's lactose intolerant. So then he'd eat the ice cream at the dining hall, then sprint to the dorm yeah. before he shit himself. It was a game he played. Yeah, it was my excuse to get away from you guys early. Yeah, smart. Yeah, and keep us out of the dorm. <laughs> <It's> effective. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, thanks. Yeah, yeah. feeling old and well, still yeah. young. I don't know. You want to so, get emotional whatever. about it? You want to? Yeah, you want to do deep tracks? You're 31, right? Yeah. You, yeah. You want to cry a little bit? I've been 31 for a while. It's actually Show it off. gets delightful, you know, because now that, we're, we're why the, you have so many grays. No, oh, uh, the grays hey, are gone. Approach. Nick. I dyed those out, except they're coming back in, and now my hair just kind of looks weird. Huh. Oh, <laughs> well, Jake's only anyway. Jake's only thirty, so like he's super young. I feel great. Yeah, my body looks well, good too. Yeah. Hope you make it, Jake. It feels great. It's a thirty-one. It's a coin flip. Yeah. Oh, is hey, it? you guys want to know what I got for my birthday? Yeah. Yep. A bird feeder. Ah, oh, you oh, son of a God. bitch. All right, happy birthday. <laughs> Bye, happy birthday. See ya, thanks, guys. Didn't we tell the audience about the birds a couple episodes episodes ago? Yeah, yeah. College roommate, freshman year. Birds just out the window every day, every morning. <laughs> every morning. I read the news today, oh boy, and though the news was rather sad, well, I just had to laugh. Well, it's six o'clock, time for the news. A man was fined after drinking carrot juice from beer can to test the no alcohol policy. Just testing the policy. See how serious you guys take it. Jeez, don't get mad at me. A man on drugs arrested for biting a seagull after it tried to steal his Big Mac. I have a sneeze coming. Warning. Okay. A hole in the wall lets dozens of snakes into Colorado apartment. Oh, my God, that blows. Cops raid Melbourne party during lockdown after guests put in a 20-meal order with KFC. Police are now monitoring KFC orders, or KFC is just employing a snitch. Mm. <clears throat> a fish with human-like teeth and lips was found in Malaysia. And Wayfair denies the human sex trafficking conspiracy theory, which is the biggest story of the day. And I would love to talk to you about it, Jake. That ends the news update. I, read the news today, oh boy. <clears throat> I have a sneeze lingering, and just now I have an itchy nose. Yeah. And it's really annoying, so I hope this pops out soon. A lot of fidgets going on over yeah. there. Uh... Where do you want to start? Like, do you want to do these? Did you are you up to date with the Wayfair shit? I am not up to date on it. Catch oh, us all up to speed, dude. It's so interesting. So, there are items on Wayfair, which is like an IKEA cheap furniture right. place. It's not like my my brother Luke thought it was like an eBay or Craigslist where you list your own stuff. It is not like that. It's no. a it's a company. Yeah. So there are items there like a dresser. Wayfair, <clears throat> we get just what you need for like ten grand. Up anywhere from like ten to thirty grand. There's like these pillows for ten grand, and it'll say like you know maple wood dresser, but before that it'll say some weird name like uh, Zariah maple wood dresser, and if you go to missingchildren.com and look mm. at all the names, it is <clears throat> they're they're using missing children as the item names. Name. So people are saying that Wayfair is involved in human trafficking. There's a picture of the guy who uh, runs Mayfair or founded it or whatever with that Jillian Giselman, I forget her name. Ghislaine. Ghislaine Maxwell from the Jeffrey Epstein's mm. wife who was right. big in underage prostitution ring. Um, <clears throat> so Wayfair started taking down all the cabinets. Their first response was, those are just really nice dressers. Yeah. 10 grand. Pillows for 20 grand. Great. Um then if you type in the SKU number, that's SKU number, right, of the item, yep. and you just put it in there, it if you Google it, it brings up pictures of the missing kids no. that the names are attached to. And someone, like, put it in their cart and went to check out, 
And as soon as they hit checkout, the item name changed from Zariah Maplewood Dresser to Zariah Smith. Whoa. To the kid's name. So, like, in deep. <clears throat> now, I haven't followed up since the original story, but that is crazy. Mm. Did the AC turn off? It must be 73. I think that's what we have it set at. 73 degrees in here. Uh, anyway. Yeah, it's... Or it's broken. Might have just broke it. Might have overheated. I don't know. Anyway, it's um, it's crazy, man. It's coming back on. All right, cool. It's the hottest day that we've had, I think, in a little bit. So it's gonna be hot today. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know what you got on that. Now I did hear one potential. Like, hey, it's <clears throat> Luke asked me, what's the percent? It's shady. So right, hundred percent. He said, what's the percent that they're actually Which selling way? children? Yeah. I said, I lean fifty-one right now. But the other explanation I heard is it, 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 it could just be straight up money laundering, which makes sense. Sure. And that they needed a code name. Right. To let people know, like, this is the money laundering list. And they, now this sounds dumb. They might have just used go to missingchildren.com. Right. Look, you, the top name, buy the item that matches that name. Mm. That's the money laundering scheme. He's like, how come they wouldn't just do, like, you know, most wanted list? Dot com and use those names. I'm like, well, they could have used anything. That was the theory I heard use anything where I'm like, okay, maybe it's money laundering with a bad system. But then the, what's her name? Susan Blaine Mas- Maxwell. Blaine yeah. Maxwell <clears throat> combo. But she's in pictures with everyone. everyone. Um, man, it's crazy, man. It's like, it's very, very interesting conspiracy yeah i like that I'll, I'll probably dip the toe and i know i know my jessica has been pretty into this and luke gate here in the chat i think his says, name is goat ear he says that he does not support human trafficking and it looks like the rest of the chat is with that so that's good good to see what our our following is into yeah, we're hard Pre- against it appreciate you guys yeah man that's that's a big one i'm there's obviously i think i forget how luke phrased it but 100% there's funny business going on. Yeah. It's just what is the funny business? Yeah. Are we are we trafficking kids? Um, could this also be, I don't know, uh, could a competitor be like hacking them a little bit or, to stir this <clears throat> whole thing or, up? Or are they being hacked by pedophiles? Like, you know, they could, but but I don't know. But, uh, dude, it's, it's nuts. It's nuts. And then one girl was, was being used as the missing person, and she's like, I'm not missing. I was like, I, I'm not missing here. Like, I'm, I'm good. I'm here. Present. <laughs> and she was like, stop using me as an example. Accounted this sucks for, for everyone that knows me. Yeah. And that kind of lends it to maybe they were just using the names to launder money. I don't know. Fucking interesting, though. It is so funny that, like, all the names you listed there, like, if I saw that, if I clicked on a cabinet and I saw Uritza, I'd be like, oh, this is their Uritza line. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh huh. But no, there are some, there were some normal ones. Like, there was a boy, and his name was like Christopher. Christopher. It was like his first and last name. Christopher, like tell your mother. Interested. <clears throat> interested to see the follow. I, so, A, thank you for catching me up. B, like, I need the next step, you know? Yeah. Sadly, the next step is the people that are involved in Powerful shut it down and it goes away, like Pizzagate. Pizzagate, uh, yeah, maybe, dude. Your hair looks wild. How you just did it? Jess put on unsolved mysteries last night. <coughs> yeah, uh, I, I heard, hate it. Yeah, I I heard a lot of different reviews about it, and uh, I I don't want to watch unsolved mysteries. Yeah. I want to watch solved mysteries. Yes. Yeah. So I wasn't watching it, and it so, <laughs> and this is this is a little inside. Uh, to to my home, so sitting on the couch like we just had dinner, you know I had like I had the Yes Network replay of the Yankees on, and I knew that was only gonna fly in the house for so long, and that's fair, because it's you know a replay of practice baseball, and that's probably not what my Jessica wants to watch at night. So she grabs the remote, I let it go. I'm catching up on Twitter, doing some different things. She puts something on. And uh, she goes, hey, I'm watching Unsolved Mysteries. It's 45 minutes. I was told it was really good. And I shrug. I'm like, cool. Perfect. Yeah. And then she goes, by the way, the whole episode's in French. I go, all right, I'll take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's, so that's, that's what you're telling me? <laughs> like, You know I'm not into this anyways, but this whole episode's in French. 
And so by the end of it, I don't go shower, obviously, because I'm dragging my feet to shower like I always Pause, do. because I got it on my mind. Is your hair new shampoo This hair? is the new shampoo. Yeah. Hey, your hair looks way different today. I was yeah. going to say something. Yeah. Like it looks I've feathery. Used dollar shampoo my whole life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Interesting how you have it right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it does look different than usual. I'll go hairband style with it later. But so I drag oh, my feet. good from that angle. I don't want to shower. And so we're about 30 minutes in and I decide to start cluing in and it's like, yeah, guy killed his family, blah, blah, blah. And so I totally forget it's unsolved mystery. And so at the end of it, it's like getting towards the end. And I'm like, so Jess, like where do I, I'm now locked in and I'm like, okay, we're now a couple. I'm like, so Jess, what, where do you think he is? Like, what's the next move? And he's like, she goes, I don't know, Jake, it's unsolved. And that's when it hit me. And I was like, are you kidding me? Because <clears throat> the whole the whole part was <coughs> like the experts were giving the thing. And they're like, he's very average looking, which makes it tough because he has seen everywhere, yet he has seen nowhere. And I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of badass. And I was like, all right, let's find this bastard. And then it's like, if you know anything, reach out. I was like, what? Do I know anything? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> so uh, that was that was pretty tough. I don't like that. I could go. I could. People could use that description. Me, very average looking. See him everywhere. Because every time I worked a wedding, I had someone come up to me and ask if I was related to someone. Like, are you blah blah? Are you blah 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 blah? But I think I'm that's like, because you do have definitive features. You have the nice eyes and you have like a nice beard. I wouldn't. Yeah, I don't think my beard's nice. But yes, thank you. Um, Nice beard. Um, but yeah, anyway, <clears throat> watch Cold Case Files on Netflix. They're unsolved mysteries that went like 10 but years. they're old. <clears throat> oh, and then they solve they them. Solve they them. solve them because they're cold case. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I'm kind of into that. Katie and I painted the apartment at the beginning of the pandemic when we were, and we, <clears throat> we had this on while we were painting. Mm. And they all get solved at the end. You right. find That's out nice. who did it. I like so that. So I was in it. But yeah, I, I have no interest watching Unsolved no. Mysteries because that's just like, that sucked. why are you going to give me inf- the information that I'm not going to... You have to satisfy the ending. Yeah. <clears throat> You're going to walk away and be like, oh, he's was, among us. You know, me, a rabbit hole city, you know? Yeah. That was the the whole final scene was, well, <clears throat> he could have taken a boat. He could have taken a plane. He could have driven to Italy. Yeah. And I was like, well, fuck, man. Yeah, I mean, I, sucks. Like fucking um, the staircase, still with me. Mm. The bird theory, who killed bird her? Bird theory, oh, owl on. theory. And then there, that um, the other, the little girl that went missing. The London people. They have a new lead on that. It's been thirteen years. Mm. Crazy. Wayne Maxwell was seen in pictures with her. So with the little girl. With the wait, what do you mean? Uh, well, Madeline McCann is yeah, that yeah, the one you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some connection there. I forget her specifically. And John Bonet Ramsey in the nineties, Glenn Maxwell has pictures with her. What? Yeah, man. How do you spell Jillian Gillian G H I S L A N E. There might be an I in there. Might be an she A-I. has pictures with Madeline McCann? I don't know if she has pictures with McCann, but I know that somebody said there was a connection. I know she's in the background of a picture of John Bonet Ramsey. Is Dude, she Dude, is she the like most super villain in the world right she, now? She like is the devil. Is she gonna get killed? Yeah. Like, she already yeah. has coronavirus in the same yeah. jail Epstein was in. So World sucks, dude. World sucks. It sucks that she doesn't have a name that I'm ever gonna know how to pronounce. Jazane? I say Galane, but I think Galane? there's technically a more like French I like twist that. on it. Picture it as like Elaine with a G. Galane. Galane. There's like four oh, okay, different okay. letters that could be. All right. Her, her connection with Madeline McCann is. Yeah. Uh, look, I'll show you. Uh, I, I'm interested. I, I, I appreciate the. I didn't know you were in on these. We could have been oh, talking about these. Oh, I'm day. in on these. Uh, the Madeline McCann case is fascinating. Um, it does kind of look like her. It's just a, like the, there's a drawing of yeah. the female suspect that may have been involved, and it does kind of look like her. What's that all time bad drawing? Sketch drawing. <laughs> <laughs> Of, Sounds like, the <laughs> Peter Pan Pinocchio-looking dude with, like, just the circles. They found that guy, and he looked like him. You yeah. remember that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show, show one of the cameras. That's that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Is it on there, BBD? Here, yeah. put it. There you go. I mean. Oh, whatever. Uh yeah. One there's the, that one, and then there's the video where the drawing looks like the host yeah, on the show. That's and a good like, one. Oh shit! Those are, those are good. <clears throat> those um, are good. 
Have you ever watched The Missing on Stars? I don't know if you have any time because I know you've been busting your butt working here. Bust that butt. But is it a star show or is it a Showtime show? Um, I miss when girls used to just text me BTB. <clears throat> Pretty Napoli. recently did the most recent like deep dive on any of this I did. I watched like four different missing kid things, like all the ones that are on Hulu. So the the I missing all pretty recent. The missing is um, is it on Netflix now? It is a, it's fiction? It's a series. Um, season one kind of mirrors the Madeline McCain. It's like you know a fictional version of. You know, at a resort. So, so this out. is like a this is a fictional show. Yeah, it's a narrative okay. show. But season one's good. I think you should watch it. You don't need to watch season one to watch season two. Season two is one of the best seasons of television ever. The missing season two. It's got this French detective who's kind of a badass. Um, and it's about, you know, children who get you know missing and he he's a, a, a investigator that finds them. Season one's good. Season two is amazing. If you want to watch The Missing on Netflix, did Boom. you confirm that's on Netflix? No, I did not. Okay, but well, it's in my notes app. Um, yeah. Uh, what other news stories do we have here? A man was fined after drinking carrot juice from a beer can. He was just testing the no alcohol policy. Mm. It's a good excuse, right? Yeah. I was just seeing if your security was up to par. Good job. Really good job. Know what I'll give you? A firm handshake. Drinking carrot juice from a beer can. Been there. Have you? Well, I know BBD's got the Patty's Irish Pub shirt on today. I feel like wine in a can became a thing for a little while. Yeah. Um, we did, because I we did. We did something. We did something weird. What did we used to do? I don't know. I used to go wine tasting in California all the time, but we didn't, you didn't have to hide it anymore. Yeah. Just walk around with wine. Booze. 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 All right. Good uh, Good excuse. Uh, this dude bit a seagull, it says. It says, man arrested for biting a seagull because the seagull did something to him. Tried to take his Big Mac. And so he bit the seagull? Was he Ozzy Osbourne? 26-year-old man claimed he was being attacked for his McDonald's meal, and his response... He grabbed the bird and bit it. Ugh. He sunk its teeth into it before throwing it to the floor. This guy was on drugs. No yeah. sober person. The man, oh. the man told the police officers says he's on drugs, under okay. the influence of drugs, yeah. The seagull was clearly injured by the incident, but flew, flew off. off before we were able to check on its welfare. He's got a story to tell, huh? The seagull? Yeah. yeah. One of them bit me. <laughs> 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 That's the story. Yeah. That would be the That's story. The whole told, story. Yeah. No one believes him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you nailed that. Good commentary. This is the Mitch Hedberg joke. Yeah. Catch and release fishing. It's good. You don't want to <laughs> catch it. You just want to make it late for something. <laughs> Where were you? I got caught. <laughs> uh, hole in the wall. It's dozens of snakes into a Colorado apartment. Whoa. I feel like we're not gonna love this. Uh, the picture of the snake is tiny. Okay. Like, like tiny, tiny. Like, honestly, so tiny, I don't know how scared I'd be. Mm. It looks so tiny that you could get the, 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 a broom and the sweeper thing and just, like, sweep it into the pan and throw it in your backyard. Mm. So, at that point, how many of those is too many? Ah. I have it at three. Let me see. Do you see Oh, he is a snuggle bunny. Okay. It's like a little garden snake. Yeah. Oh, one. Don't like snakes. Even that little dude? Yeah. But you can handle that. If it gets under the couch, you're fucked. If it's in the open... I mean, I don't... From my knowledge of snakes, I doubt it was just hanging out in the middle of the apartment like, hey... You never know. What's up? Gotta get hungry sometime. You wanna watch Unsolved Mysteries? You ever seen the videos of the rats that come up through the toilet in New York City? Because every time I go to go to take a shit, uh, I'm like, I hope a rat doesn't pop up. No, I have right not. Now. Yeah, those are terrible. Be a bad day. An Arroyo woman says dozens of snakes invaded her apartment following building renovations. Mm. Dozens. That's a lot. I'd be scared. Dozens. Ugh. I think I changed my number to two. Yeah. I'm Once one. I see the second one, I'm like, I'm out of this apartment. Burn okay. it down. One snake, it happens. Happens. Little guy... I can deal with that. Killed a fly yesterday. Yeah. Oh, man. When I was filming the documentary that's coming out that I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about um, a couple weeks ago, 
there, I, I think they were rolling, and there was a fly on the seat in front of me, and I did the Steve Carell trick where you, where you surround it like this, and then you come up. Yeah. Because, you know, when you're right. scared, it the flies straight up. And pff, it shit, works yeah. like 80% of the time. Yeah. It's like an amazing. And I did it, and I looked at the guy who was rolling, the DP, and I was like, hey, did you get that? Yeah. I'm like, throw that in the dock. That was impressive. Get that shit. Yeah. He didn't even, like, laugh. He was like, huh? <laughs> Yeah, I got it. Uh, give me some clickbait. Yeah. Uh, so these people ordered like 20, tw- 20 meals of KFC, and then the cops showed up. <sighs> wow. A group of ambulance workers who happened to be visiting the store at the time heard the call or sur- saw the mm. call. They notified police who followed the car to a nearby townhouse and discovered a number of people hiding under beds in the garage and out in the backyard. So, okay, I thought that we had a tattletale on our hands, but if it truly was just they overheard it and that's their job, they are like health and safety police, basically. I get it. Uh, I'm a little worried. I mean, we got 20 meals of KFC at 1.30 a.m., and we've got people hiding under beds in the garage and in the backyard. Like, is this kids or are these, like... Definitely kids. People. Definitely kids. I hope so. If it's kids, yeah, go get them. Um, a group of partygoers. So, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking young 20s or kids. Yeah. If that's it, I'm fine with the story. Yeah. There's a birthday party. It was in the state of Victoria. Um... No other info. Good KFC ad, though. Great KFC ad. And then the last story on here is that we have a fish with human-like features. Oh, no. Yeah, I clicked it Oh, my God. Get it on the screen, BBD. You got to be fucking shitting me. Pretty gross, right? The fish is called Triggerfish, and they're famous for their human-like teeth and lips. Yeah. Yeah. God damn it. Man, that's a... You know, when Jakey Stoner gets into it and you start thinking about, like, we all evolve from the same molecules and shit, like, so I'm glad I'm this than a fish, you know? That sucks, man. It's I mean, not even really a story. It's just, like, check out this fish. Yeah, it's a fish. I guess people on the internet are starting to, like, edit it, <laughs> compare people to it and stuff. Yeah, I saw that's kind of funny. It's not bad. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Internet's a good place. Sometimes. You like it? The fish? No, the internet. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good to know. Affirmative. Better of the day. It's the better of the day. Better of the day. Better of the day. Bet of the day, it is the bet of the day, bet of the day, bet of the day. Jakey, Jakey went one and three last week. I went one, one and two last week. I went one and two as well. One, four, three, one for three the week before. Two correct out of his last six. I am with him, two correct out of his last six. Overall record is seven and 12. On the record, we don't have the old One's in there still. Mm. That got you some wins. Yes. Since the start of June. Since the start of June, we'll say. Yep. Well, actually, I put one in there. One bonus loss from May. (laughs) So that's uh, that's the tune we do here at Germ Boy Media. Well, we do. All right. We uh, let me put it in here. We do think you got a win here, a loss here, two loss. uh, I don't know what mine was. I think it was four and two. Anyways. There's one game today, and I want to give the people some action. The bets are ugly. The bets are disgusting. It's Chelsea versus Norwich City. Chelsea sucks. I might have just changed my bet. Um, they're playing Norwich City, who's, I mean, class class A bad. So th- the spread is two and a half. The over-under is three and a half. Which one are you looking at? Golly, this is a brutal bet. Give me, give me Chelsea 
minus two and a half. I hate the bet. Wait, hold on. I'm confused. You have Chelsea covering two and a half? Yeah. So you think they're going to blow Norwich out? Yeah. I don't see him doing it. Okay. I don't see him doing it. I mean, Norwich just got their asses kicked by West Ham. Sure. You know, I... And I think they might have gotten relegated. Blowing bubbles. Tiny bubbles in the air. They fly so high. Oh, yeah. So this is an all-time sad game. Norwich officially got relegated. They're done. So, yeah. Chelsea. Chelsea's in third with Leicester, Man United, each a point behind them. This should get ugly. Chelsea's in third place? Yeah. Norwich is already relegated. Do you think there's some players on Norwich that are like, this no. is my last game in the Prem. I got to no. show people what it's all about. No. I don't think it's their last game. Well, I mean, they got three more games in the Premier League. Right. Some might be looking to ditch Norwich, go get contracts They're not going to play as a team, Jim. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do they have a young guy that they're going to bring up, and he's just going to be like, you know, time to switch keepers. The new keepers just lights out. You think new keeper theory. Yeah. Okay. Your okay. call. I'm going to go with my gut on this one. I'm just going to I'm just going to I'm just going to do a quick Jakey Jakey about to make a big mistakey. I got it as 2-0. Okay. I can see that happening. Yeah. I think it's going to be worse. What do you think? 5 to 7? You're looking at a 4-1, 3-0, 5-1 potentially. What about the new keeper though? The new keeper. If he has a day. Yeah. Could be good. All right. That's the show. We'll see you guys later. See you tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. Someone in the chat said Ghislaine Maxwell doesn't have coronavirus, but if she if she doesn't, she's about to. So, okay. okay. Hope she dies. There it is. Goodbye. I don't because I want her to get more people in trouble. Okay. Peace and chicken grease. Goodbye.